What's going on guys, Fro Games here, and before this video gets underway, I just would like to announce the winner of that Jericho Katri that I gave away in the last episode. Um, the winner is going to be listed in the description below, and I will announce it here real quick. Before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and announce all the people that entered into it, just to make sure I got it right. So, um, the people that had entered, we have uh, Edgen Wo, Logan Hoyt, Preston Wygain, Fafofo the King, uh, Unique Carbon and Panda Man Productions, and the winner was Unique Carbon. So I'm gonna go on ahead and hit him up with the uh, Jericho Kachi. I already have on my friends list, so I'll just go ahead and trade it to him. And you guys did smash that like button, get to eight likes in the first day. So there will be another flashback pack opening up, opening up tomorrow. And if I get a bad pull again, I'm gonna go on ahead and give it away. So make sure to stay tuned to that and enjoy the video. What's going on guys, Faux Games here, and today we have for you another top 10 plays of the week, starting us off at number 10, we have a Beast Slip, a little laggy here, but we are going to shed off two tackles with Beast Mode and find our way into the end zone right here, very nice play to start us off. Now at number 9, we got Look at Lockett. That's Tyler Lockett, Team of the Year edition, of course, on the kick return. Best returner in the game. He's going to hit a juke and then a spin. Shut off one man, but he's still got another man to beat. So what does he do? He jukes him out right here and finds his way into the end zone for our number 9 play of the week. And coming in at number 8, we got TD for the TD. Now, Terrell Davis on a slip screen from our own 5-yard line. Extremely dangerous. Hits a spin move. Sheds off a man. Makes two more men miss, and it looks like it's open fields, but here comes another defender, and here comes two more defenders. So he's going to out-juke these guys, breaking the ankles of number 21 right there, and he is in the end zone. And coming in at number 7, we got get the Falk out of here, because Marshall Falk on 4th and 1 hits a hesitation move, spins, jukes, does everything, and he is gone. It looks like he's going to get caught here, and we are just trying to avoid the tackle before we finally fall into the end zone. Now number six, hey Hester, what's up Devin Hester on the punt return right here. He's going to hit a spin move, then he's going to break to the outside, hit a juke move back in, hit another spin move and a juke move, and now he has just a punter to beat up the sidelines and into the end zone for our number five play of the week. Now number four is I see you slipping. My bad, that's number five actually. I see you slipping. Here it comes. We are using Charles Woodson. See the slip screen, and we get the diving pick, but it doesn't stop there because we take that pick beat the offensive lineman and we are in the end zone four six and that ties it up in a critical point in that game now number four this time is can't touch this and we have another slip screen this time with Terrell Davis he's gonna get it very wide out he's gonna make a spin move make two men miss nice pancake block there then he jukes out of the way and hits another spin move cuts it across the field and this is in the Super Bowl he gives us a seven point lead right there number three is just a lucky play because it's the tip drill of course the good old tip drill we're going to lob one up here, and it gets deflected, but Marshall Falk says, give me that. Nice block there by Tyler Eifert, and we find our way into the end zone for the number three play of the week. Now, number two is a very clutch play, snowing and spinning by Angelo C. Thanks for submitting this one, buddy. So, as you can see, third quarter action right here. He's doing some online head-to-head, -head, it would appear, and he is on defense as the Buffalo Bills. He's going to get a pick here, but it doesn't stop there because he gets a nice juke move. Then he spins, and he breaks a tackle and he is gone down the field for a pick six. And number one is the same thing because we have Woodson in his prime right here. This is Charles Woodson on the pass defense. He gets the interception, but he's looking to do some more with it. He spins out of the way, jukes out of the way, jukes again. Looks like he's going to get tackled, reverses fields, and goes up the sidelines for a 108-yard pick six in the fourth quarter. Charles Woodson showing up big in this game, and that's all we have for today. So make sure to like and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys next time.